This is a tough video to make. I think I um, I, I probably put off making this one for a while because it's like feeling like you're like you're dead inside is um like it's you can't you, you don't feel it. It's it's what it it's it's a lack of feeling. That's what it is. I am dead inside. Especially like I've experienced it many times in my life, but the most I ever felt it was when I was in high school. I think I almost felt it for a number of years. I felt like I didn't feel anything. Like it's a complete detachment from emotions. And um, like I look back on it now and I'm like, like even now the, nowadays, like I'm, I'm so grateful that I can feel what sadness feels like, or I can feel what, you know, frustration and stress feels like. Um, and of course, happiness and joy too. But it's, it's the lack of feeling that really gets to you. In this, um, in this video, I just want to share with you what I did to help me kind of get out of my rut all of a sudden become more aligned with what I was feeling. Um, so I was less detached from it. And I just started feeling again, if anything. So if you're someone that feels like, you know, you're a little bit dead inside, like you feel like you're empty, devoid of all feeling, then I think this is for you. First step that I took was I sought help. I know it sounds weird. I want you to look at therapy, like seeking help from someone as a little bit like dating. What did he say? I don't date your therapist or that person that's helping you out. Bad idea, don't do it, breach of ethics. It's, I'm pretty sure it's illegal. Like don't, don't do it. When you go on a date with someone, you know, suss them out. You're like, you see whether or not they kind of fit you, whether they understand you, whether, you know, you feel like you want to take this to, you know, the second date or not. And you see whether or not you want to do that. Sometimes even when you do take them to the second date, you're like, oh, I don't know. Like, I don't know if we're going to work. And so maybe you end it there. I think what very often what people do is with something like therapy is that they go once and then they find that the person just doesn't work with them. And then they're like, nah, therapy's not for me. But fair enough. If you draw the line there, if you were to draw that exact same line when it came to dating, you date one person and you draw the line there, then it's like, well, what are you doing? That's a bit stupid because you, there are so many other people out there that could potentially understand you better, that could be a better fit to you as a, as a partner in life. And so that's exactly how you should look at like seeking a therapist. The first one, may not may connect with you really well may not second one may be able to like maybe a really good fit with you maybe you guys vibe really well and you feel like you're comfortable sharing with that person like it's just you know if some if you feel like that then obviously you can continue the steps but if you're not then it's absolutely okay for you to then find someone else and like i want you to know this as well i don't think therapists take offense in you seeking help from someone else well they shouldn't anyway because i think they're more interested in your growth and your health and that you're looking after yourself. Second thing, practice self-care. Like, it's super important that you look after yourself, you know? Do the basic stuff, you know? Do a bit of exercise, make sure you get enough sleep. Now make sure you're not getting too much sleep, all right? But get a decent amount of sleep, um, you know, eat the right foods and whatnot. And you know, sometimes you do need those weeks where, you know, you're sleeping excessive amounts of time, you're, um, you're eating a lot of crap, um, you're just binge watching TV. Like sometimes you need days and weeks like that. Like, and I get it. That's absolutely fine. Like I've had my fair share of those types of weeks, but it's really important that you always make sure that you try and get back on track and you make it a priority. And you know, when you've had enough, like, you know, when it's, you know, when you've had a little bit of your fun, you know, when it's time to pick yourself back up and get going because life is going to keep moving forward. And if you're not, then you're going to be falling behind. The third thing that really helped me um, deal with this feeling was, you know, doing things that I love. And I get it, it's tough because, um, you know, when we, when we feel like this, when we feel like emptiness and devoid of emotion, it's hard to do things that you love because even the things that used to bring, like used to bring you a lot of love and a lot of joy kind of don't anymore. And that's like, it's like, you don't want to do that. But I think persist with it. Like one of the things that brought me heaps of happiness when I was in high school um, was playing tennis. And so even when I didn't feel anything, I just play tennis. And like eventually the body kind of remembers, the body really remembers what brought it joy. And obviously with things like exercise and endorphins kind of kick in anyway. And so you get glimpses of positive emotions. And if they can kind of like break through the cloud coverage of that emptiness feeling, um, then, you know, you're kind of feeling something. I think the hardest thing is that um, the hardest thing when it comes to emptiness and feeling it like that is like, remembering what it felt like to feel something. The fourth thing is getting to the source of your feelings. This is, this is tough, um, but it's super important to do. Like you gotta face the music, like turn around, take a look at the, 
thing that you're running away from, the thing that's the cause of that feeling. You know, maybe it's, and like, I think more often than not, we kind of know what area of our life that, that we're really struggling with that's contributing most to that feeling. But I, I don't think we want to look any further. Like we don't want to ask the question, why? Why do I feel like this? Or what's really there? What am I actually after here? Like we don't want to ask that question because it's, I get it, it's scary. But as like, you know, as Jung once said, you know, it's best to keep your shadows in front of you because they can only take you down from behind. Like whether you like it or not, you're going to face your trauma. In fact, you're facing it right now. It's just that it's either going to bite you, right? When you're not looking or you can turn around and face it as scared as you might be, as um, afraid as you might be, you can turn around and you can face it. You can ask why. And like, this is where a therapist and, you know, a psychologist and everything can, can be really helpful because you don't feel like you're alone in the process. They can pretty practically like hold your hand metaphorically through the whole process. They can guide you through it so you can answer the right questions. You can ask yourself the right questions too. The fifth thing is to set goals. And specifically here, you want to set small ones, just really, really small ones. You want to kind of build yourself up. Like it's super important that you can see wins along the way. So then you feel like, you know, actually I'm making a little bit of progress here. Maybe like, you know, step one, you know, like one of your goals could just be getting a bit of help, like going to your first therapy session. Like if it's that's, if that's all you did today, then great. If all you did today was get out of bed and you haven't in a week, then that's a really good thing. Like you can pat yourself on the back for that. Like it's about taking these small wins and then like stacking them on top of each other. And then as you kind of get through the small wins, you can create bigger goals and then smash them through as well, right? Make them small and achievable at the beginning. Number six, connect with others. This is like, this is a hard one to do because, you know, in this feeling, you don't want to see anyone. Like you don't want to, um, you don't want to connect with anyone because you're too tired. Like, you're like, oh, you can't be bothered. You know, like, you know what you should do. You know, you should go probably see a friend or even at least call them. But it's like, oh man, I can't be bothered. I'll do it tomorrow. Like it's even in our sadness, in our, in our lack of emotion, we procrastinate. It is, we are funny humans. But um, I can tell you this, this is from me to you now. I definitely encourage you to go connect with other people, you know, hang out with people, play tennis, play a bit of down ball, play board games or like game online for all I care. Like make sure you're talking and connecting with someone. And my car argument there is as well is, um, you know, let them in on like how you're actually feeling. I remember telling my mates, um, like one of, my, one of my particular friends, I'm not going to say his name, but I remember telling him how I was actually feeling and how I was actually feeling nothing. Um, and one of the, he said one of the most comforting, comforting things to me, he said, me too. I also feel like that. Now, obviously there's not an answer you're going to get every single time, but um, it was nice knowing that someone knows, someone else knows how I feel. And even that, that was, that was enough to, to almost make it, it didn't make it all go away. You know, these are, these are the things. And when we talk about these things, it doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean that they all go away unless we address the underlying causes and whatnot. But it just made me feel like I'm not alone in this experience. But yeah, send this video to someone that you feel like might need it. Also, I've got this other video here that I think you should definitely check out. It just goes through five things that you can do to easily um, improve your mental health. All right, so if you're interested in that, make sure you click here. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.